Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 HIA Stratco Victorian Apprentice Awards. I'm Steve Bright, HIA Victorian President. These awards are hugely important to us for what they represent and celebrate. They're fantastic apprentices who are the future of our industry. 2021 has been another challenging year for our industry and I know it's been especially hard for apprentices. A lot of you have lost valuable time on site or being restricted to the number of jobs you can attend to. But I also know we're going to persevere. We're already coming back stronger than ever and that's going to continue into 2022. And with all the challenges we've faced, it makes the achievements of tonight's winners and finalists even more impressive. We're going to be hearing more about them very soon, but I know you'll agree they really are amongst the best of the best and they represent a very, very bright future for our industry. So hopefully you're all in the mood to celebrate and you've got your drinks and snacks and ready to go. Now we'll hear from someone I know who is very, very enthusiastic about apprentices. HIA Victorian Regional Executive Director, Fiona Neild. Thank you very much, Steve, and welcome everyone to the announcement of the 2021 HIA Stratco Victorian Apprentice Awards. It's an understatement to say that 2021 has been a challenging year for our industry and an especially challenging one for apprentices. Between all of the restrictions, changes and site closures, it certainly has been a year like no other. We're delighted to be able to take a moment during these challenging times to reflect and reward what has been achieved. So congratulations to all of you for making it through this year. Your hard work and perseverance will provide inspiration, no doubt, for the years ahead as you continue your journey in this wonderful industry. We're so proud of your perseverance and commitment to continuing, and also a time to reflect on your hosts. For them, it's also been a really tough year and their continued support to see our young people trained and ready to commence in a lifelong journey in home building is also nothing short of inspirational. Thank you to all of our hosts as well. I want to give special mention to Chris Fortune and his team at HIA Apprentices. They have been doing an absolutely exceptional job looking out for apprentices, keeping them informed, sourcing PPE for them, organising work permits and being a mentor and an ear to listen when things are really tough. So congratulations, Chris, to you and your wonderful team. Finally, I think it's fantastic that we can be together again like this, even though it's virtual, and celebrate the achievements of you all who represent the future of our industry. You've been doing it tough this year, but you've carried on and you've had some absolutely marvellous achievements, some of which I know we're just about to hear about. Of course, awards like tonight's don't just happen. There's a lot of work that happens behind the scenes. And on behalf of everyone at HIA, I particularly want to say a huge thank you to our judges. They have volunteered their time to this process, reviewing all of the entries and carrying out detailed interviews with all of the finalists and making what I'm sure were some difficult calls to reach their final decisions. So thank you very much to Glenn Mitchell, Venice Riley, Doug Stevens, and Wayne Walsh. Thank you to all four of you for sharing your time, expertise, and your passion for the young people in our industry. We really do appreciate it. I want to finish up by saying congratulations to all of you who have been named as finalists tonight. That alone is a massive accomplishment and you all should be very proud. Best of luck to you all and have a great night. Thanks so much, Fiona. As Fiona mentioned this year, we're very proud to be expanding the Victorian Apprentice Awards. We now have multiple awards to recognise the outstanding work being done by apprentices at all stages of their development across multiple trades. The support of our naming rights partner Stratco has been invaluable in helping us make this possible. I want to say a huge thank you to Stratco for being part of these awards and continuing to support apprentices in our industry. Our friends at Stratco would like to share the following message with you now. Since 1948, the dawn of the great Australian dream, Stratco has been manufacturing quality steel building products for the housing, home improvement and construction industries. And today's economic and social climate has certainly re-emphasised the importance of having reliable local manufacturing using Australian made colour bond steel. Professional tradespeople are also essential to the housing industry and Stratco understands the crucial role today's apprentices play in its future success. Hence, Stratco's partnership of the HIA's apprentice program, both at state level and nationally for well over 10 years. Stratco sees this commitment as more important than ever. Because we know that those companies, those builders, contractors and suppliers that have established a solid foundation 
and have consistently invested in the long-term future of their business and the housing industry will be better able to adapt to the changing market and customer demands during these turbulent times and prepare themselves for the opportunities that the new normal will bring. We are therefore thrilled to welcome you once again to the HIA Stratco Apprentice Awards and congratulate in advance all the wonderful nominees and winners of these prestigious awards. Thank you. Thanks Tom and thank you again to Stratco for your ongoing support of the Victorian Apprentices. I'm happy to announce that we also have a prize partner in this year's awards, Fortress Melbourne. Thank you very much Fortress for your support. Each of our category winners tonight will receive a prize voucher from Fortress, a two hour PC gaming pass and a board game session for them and a friend. And the Apprentice of the Year will also be treated to a VIP booth in the Fortress Tavern for them and seven mates. They'll enjoy four hours of video games with $400 worth of food and drink to keep them well entertained. So without further ado, Let's get to the presentations. So let's get these awards going with the first year Carpentry Apprentice. Now we have a standout entrant in this category that the judges felt was a clear winner. And that winner is Harry Waterfall from HI Apprentices hosted by Jeff Taylor Constructions. G'day, my name's Harry Waterfall. I'm a first year Carpentry Apprentice and I work for Jem Taylor on the Mornington Peninsula. Harry was highly commended by the judges for his dedicated work ethic, methodical approach to all tasks, and willingness to learn traditional carpentry techniques under an old school builder. Displaying initiative in all aspects of his life, Harry is prepared to work hard in order to succeed. Congratulations, Harry. What a fantastic start to your apprenticeship. Next up is the award for best second year carpentry apprentice. And the finalists are, Hi, I'm Joe Walker. I'm an apprentice carpenter in my second year, working for David Burford Constructions. G'day, I'm Lachlan and I'm a second year apprentice with Haley Constructions. Hi everyone, my name's Jeremy Lang and I'm a second year apprentice with Positive Footprints. And the winner is Joseph Walker from David Burford Constructions. Joseph's excellent communication skills and dedicated approach to his trade were highly praised by the judges. Applauded for his initiative, forward planning and ability to work collaboratively, Joseph continues to develop and apply the skills he has acquired through participation in communal leadership roles. Great work, Joseph. I'm sure you've done your team very proud. Before we move on, second year carpentry was a very strong field. So the judges have given a commendation to an apprentice they feel deserves special recognition, even though they didn't win the overall award. The judges commendation goes to Jeremy Lang from Positive Footprints. The judges were very impressed by Jeremy's focus and passion for his trade. Jeremy is an articulate and highly motivated second year carpentry apprentice. He is a hard-working member of the team who is eager to learn, showing initiative and enthusiasm at all times. Well done to all the second year carpentry apprentices. Excellent work. The next award is the third year landscape construction apprentice. This was another category with a standout entrant. And the winner is Nick Harnetti from Executive Gardenscapes. Hi, my name's Nick Harnetti. I'm a third year apprentice and I work for Executive Gardenscapes. In his third year of an apprenticeship in landscape construction, Nick impressed the judges with his broad range of skills and willingness to learn. Nick is an excellent communicator and he is recognised for his ability to both work independently and manage others. Congratulations, Nick. Fantastic work. Now we have the award for the third year Carpentry and Drawing Me Apprentices. We have some excellent finalists for this award, and they are... G'day, I'm Tim Rinaldi, and I'm a third year apprentice for Rainer Construction. Hey guys, my name's Cameron Stevens, and I'm currently a third year apprentice at Beach House Constructions. 
Hi, I'm Peter Harmer, third year apprentice for Mallydot. Hi, I'm Hannah and I'm a third year cabinet making apprentice at Granite Transformations. And the winner of this award is Cameron Stevens from Beach House Constructions. Cameron enjoys all aspects of construction, an interest in sustainable building techniques and opportunities to work on bespoke carpentry tasks have broadened his experience, as has his application to plan reading. An excellent communicator, Cameron's advice to anyone new to the industry is put your head down and work hard in your first year. Well done, Cameron. You're setting a great example and I'm sure the team at Beach House must be very, very proud. Our next categories are, of course, the fourth year apprentices. The judges had their work cut out for them across the board this year. We received so many excellent submissions and the fourth years are absolutely no exception. We'll kick off with the award for fourth year plumbing apprentice. There was a standout entrant and a clear winner in this category. Congratulations to Nicole Bins from A2B Constructions. Hi, I'm Nicole, virtual age fourth year apprentice plumber. I'm lucky enough to work for A to B Constructions. Nicole greatly impressed the judges with her mature approach to both the industry and her trade. Nicole takes pride in every task she performs and her attention to detail was just one of many qualities the judges praised her for. Excellent work, Nicole. We've got one more year level award to go and it's the award for fourth year carpentry apprentices. We have some excellent finalists for this award and they are G'day guys, I'm Lucas Pearce and I'm a fourth year apprentice for Lancelot Homes Bendigo. Hi, I'm Carl and I'm a fourth year apprentice with St Carpentry. Hello, it's Austin Beckwith, I'm a fourth year apprentice, work for the Williams Group. Hello, my name is Campbell Wallacher. I was nominated as a fourth year apprentice and I work for Joshua Smith from JA and ME Construction. And the winner of this award is Campbell Wallacher from JA and ME Constructions. Campbell impressed the judges with his mature and positive approach to learning. They also noted his ability to adapt to change and the day-to-day -day challenges of his role. Campbell is a dedicated hard worker and a real team player who makes a valued contribution on site. Well done, Campbell. Absolutely outstanding achievement. You've done your whole team very proud. Now, once again, this was an incredibly strong field of entrance and the judges have chosen to give a commendation to another finalist who they felt deserved special recognition. The finalist is Carl Turco from HI Apprentices, hosted by Ascend Carpentry. Carl has a broad range of experience working on detailed architectural and heritage projects. He is highly motivated and communicates well with the trades he coordinates on a daily basis. Carl is well versed in safety measures and is interested in new materials and building techniques. The judges commended him on his mature approach to his work. Well done Carl, I'm sure you have a bright future in this industry. So that's all our year level awards done and congratulations to you all. But we still have one more award before we get to the big one. I'm very proud to be introducing the HIA Judges Rising Star Award. This is a new award recognising the apprentice who impressed with their potential and has a bright future in the industry. The judges identified this individual who fits the description to a T. So now the winner of this first ever HIA Victorian Judges Rising Star Award is Nicole Bins from A2B Constructions. The judges were impressed by Nicole's determination to study broadly in order to enhance her skill set as a plumber, gas fitter and business person. With her passion and drive to succeed, the judges see a bright future for Nicole. Excellent work, Nicole. You were a standout entrant and a well-deserved recipient of this award. Congratulations on behalf of all of us at HIA. And a big congratulations again to all our apprentices, winners, commendations and finalists alike. There's just one award left to go, overall apprentice of the year. But before we get there, let's hear one more time from our partners at Stratco. It took grit and determination to build this country. Real ingenuity, good old fashioned how-to. At Stratco, we've always had it. 
and we've been helping Australians improve their homes since the dawn of the great Australian dream. You know how to make the most of your outdoor space, how to make it yours. Stratco know how to make it a reality. So you bring the dream, Stratco will bring the how to. Thank you again to Stratco for your support. Our final award is the big one, the 2021 HIA Alec Fuller Victorian Apprentice of the Year Award. Alec Fuller was a past president of HIA and a great supporter of apprentices in our industry. After he passed away, one of the ways HIA continues to recognise his contribution is by naming this award in his honour. Each of our category winners this evening is eligible to take out this prestigious award. And just a quick reminder, they are. Harry Waterfall, HIA Apprentices, hosted by Jeff Taylor Constructions. Joseph Walker, David Burford Constructions. Nick Harnity, Executive Gardenscapes. Cameron Stevens, Beach House Constructions. Nicole Binns, A2B Constructions. Campbell Wallacher, JA and ME Constructions. And the winner of the 2021 HIA Alec Fuller Victorian Apprentice of the Year is Campbell Wallacher from JA and ME Constructions. Displaying initiative and a willingness to mentor younger apprentices, Campbell has been entrusted with a leadership role on site. Enjoying the added responsibility and challenge, he credits his experience and training as an SES volunteer with improving his problem-solving skills and confidence as a tradesman. The judges congratulate Campbell on his achievements and wish him every success in the future. On behalf of everyone at HIA, congratulations again to Campbell Wallacher, the 2021 HIA Alec Fuller Victorian Apprentice of the Year. This is a very well-deserved honour and we look forward to watching you continue to grow and thrive in this great industry. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings to a close our presentation of the 2021 HIA Stratgo Victorian Apprentice Awards. I'd like to say a huge thank you again to Stratgo for their partnership, which has been absolutely invaluable in helping us expand our Apprentice Awards this year. We all appreciate your ongoing support of the future of our industry. I'd also like to thank Fortress, our prize sponsor for this year's awards. I'm sure our winners will enjoy their time there and hopefully we'll have the event there in person next year. Thank you very much to all the apprentices and hosts who entered this year's competition. Congratulations again to all the finalists and the winners. You truly are the future of our industry and we're so excited to have young people of your calibre to be part of it. Thank you very much to all for tuning in tonight. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation and we hope you all have a great rest of the evening. Ciao.